On today's episode, let's make some makumegane. Quarters, that's right, quarters. All right, my friends. Thanks for tuning in to another fun episode. Today we're gonna try to attempt to make some makumegane, um, otherwise uh, known as uh, brass nickel, brass copper and nickel, one of those variations. Uh, sometimes they'll call it a tri makumegane, tricolor. Um, so we're gonna be using quarters today. So I have a bucket, I have some acetone, we're just going to pour a little bit in here um, and then dunk these quarters in. These are brand new, but I want to get these nice and shiny. The last time I tried this, the quarters I used weren't brand new, and I had a couple of delaminations. So I'm hoping that if I use brand new ones with no gunk or residue all over it, um, you know, I'll have a better chance of making a bigger, better looking one. Uh, I have some ideas on how I'm going to make it. And I'll be making it very similar like the very first time I tried this. Uh, but of course I wasn't filming, uh, so this time I thought I'd film. So let's get started. So let's see here, these ones. And you know what, let's do two more. Let's make it 14. Do we have any other new ones in here? Oh, here's a new one, 15. That one's not terrible. Let's do 16. We're gonna do 16 today. All right, we got our 16 quarters in here. Let's open up this bad boy. All right, let me show you how much liquid I put in there. Just kidding. So what I'm going to do today is work on this chef knife. Um, this was hand forged, uh, 5160 spring steel. Um, the shape is kind of yet to be determined. You know, it's got this shape going on right now, but I might make the handle a little bit um, not as wide. Um, I still got to thin this out a little bit. It's got to be heat treated, uh, final bevels, so on. So the plan is for the makumegane is I'm gonna do bolsters right here. Um, I'll probably make this sweep a little bit farther up, maybe forward a little bit so I can have room for some bolsters. There's gonna be two pins and then there might be two more pins somewhere back here. So that's the plan. Um, this is about, what are we at here? All right, so Total length about 10 and a half inches or so, give or take. And the blade length is about, I don't know, six and a half inches, we'll say, give or take. cleaned up looking pretty good I think I like the shape I'm gonna mess around with this here when I get my Dremel at my other workshop um, I'll be sure to include a little clip of the working on that area I want to make this nice and smooth and I want to get this side rounded as well All right, we're gonna get these dried up All right, after a few minutes of being in front of the fire, my phone decides to overheat. So I had to put this in the, put the phone in front of the fan, cool it down first before I can start recording again. So with that said, what I have here is our quarters and I have some wire that I wrapped around it a few times. And then the extra, I kind of just made a little handle. 
So with that said, I'm gonna try to hold the handle, heat this bad boy up and smash her down. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, let's get to it. Got my piece right here. You already know what this is. All right, I was just fixing it up how I like it. Nice and flat. Got a more, uh, more or less stacked pretty well. All right, now is a good time as ever. Let's do it. Alright, we're just about ready. I'm gonna pull it out and give it our first hammer. Alright, I'm not sure if I got a good hammer, but we're gonna heat it back up and hammer it one more time. And then I'm going to take the wire off. Let's see if we can rip the, uh, the wire off here. Alright, so everything is going pretty well, uh, there's no splits so far, uh, we're going to keep working away at it, and then once we get this uh, nice and uh, flat and kind of to a shape that I kind of want it, I'm going to drill some uh, holes in there to kind of reveal some layers, and then we're going to keep smashing it down. Alright, so I have the piece where I want it. So I got my little vise here hooked up. I got my drill bits. I'm gonna drill a little bit of dents in here and then I'm gonna go back and do a slightly bigger one next to those holes. I will show you an update as soon as it's done. All right, so this is what I was talking about. Got some half drilled holes and if you can look in the sun, you can already kind of see some of the layers. I get a better view of that. You can see those uh, darker and then lighter stripes. That's what we're trying to achieve. So let's keep smashing and let's see what we can make with this thing. I'm getting excited, guys, and I'm excited to show you. The selfie, put her back in. Boom, got him, boys. All right, so at this point in the race, uh, we're gonna be stretching out the billet. We're just gonna try and make a rectangle that we can cut in half um, and try to make bolsters for each side of the handle for that night. All right now, so we have our piece finished here. This is the piece I was forging on. Uh, I just took it to the belt sander and got all the uh, scale marks off best I could. And I kind of left it at a 220 grit finish. There's still some scuffs on it. I don't want to get it too thin because I'm gonna be uh, sanding some more later once it's on the knife. So I'm still debating on how I'm going to use this. It might be too thin. So I might put material either before it or after it. Um, so we'll see how that comes into play, but um, for now we are done with this piece So we're gonna move on to the heat treating of the knife uh, final beveling and um, tempering All that good stuff and then we can uh, attach our bolsters So my plan is to either cut it this way or this way in half somehow and figure out how I'm gonna use this <laughs> So thanks for watching, and we will continue on um, in part two. Thank you so much. So this is our work for today. The plan is to set the bolster on either side. We're gonna probably maybe cut it diagonally. 
we'll see what ends up happening with these but yeah that's the plan and you can see how thin it is already so we'll see how much material we have when it comes time to attaching this and my plan is to do either probably two holes 16th of an inch on either side so that's the plan guys make sure to hit the like and subscribe button we will see you on the next episode part two of the makume gane kitchen knife